Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Only Office. It's an Office program with Word document spreadsheets that works in Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's open source and it's free. So today I'm going to talk about it and install it. And I'm also going to talk about Microsoft Office a little bit and LibreOffice a little bit. So let's get to it. I'm at the Microsoft website and I'm talking about that first because most people use Microsoft Office. It's the most popular Office program and it's used in most businesses and used at home. And I've been using it at work for years and at home as well. So I just want to show you I'm at the Microsoft Office page for Microsoft Office 3. 165 family or 365 for Microsoft Office 365 family they want a hundred and ninety dollars a year just to use it for personal and one user only for personal and one person they want seventy nine dollars a year scan down now you can buy it you can buy the home office and student 2021 version it's a one-time purchase for a hundred and sixty nine dollars can you believe that i can almost buy a computer for that i can buy a used computer for that and plug linux in and be using a computer unbelievable so anyways that's enough time spent on Microsoft Office. Now, LibreOffice. Oh, and before I go there, and also the other thing about Microsoft Office that I don't like is that it's closed source. So nobody can read what's in the software. Nobody can read the configuration files. It's all locked down. So you don't know what it's doing. You don't know if it's spying on you, stealing your information whatever now the next thing i'm going to talk about is libreoffice libreoffice is an open source project it's free and open source meaning you don't have to pay for it and the source code is open so that anyone any software developer who knows how to read code can read the code and they can see what libreoffice is doing to your computer and whether or not it's spying on you and in fact it's not spying on you now, LibreOffice, if we go to download it, let's go to download it. I'm actually not going to download it, but so here you have it here. I'm just going to make this page a little bigger. LibreOffice is available in Linux, Mac OS, and Windows cross platform. Now, LibreOffice has been the main office software program in Linux. Almost every Linux distribution ships with LibreOffice. Not everyone. Some don't ship with any office program. And some ship with another office program I'm going to talk about. But LibreOffice has been the most popular office software for Linux. Shipping in, like I said, most distributions. And I've used LibreOffice. I have it installed on all my computers. It's a very good program. I like it. And that's all I'm going to say about it in this video. Now, lately, in the Linux YouTube world, I've been hearing people talk about only Office. And the other day, I installed Manjaro. And Manjaro ship now ships with only Office. And I didn't know that uh, because I used Manjaro a long time ago. And when, when I used to install Manjaro, it always shipped with LibreOffice. But now they're not shipping with LibreOffice anymore. They're shipping with only Office as their default. Now, of course, if you're running Manjaro, you can still download LibreOffice from their repositories and use it. But by default, they're shipping with only Office. So I thought I'd take a look at it. So before I do, let's look at the web page.
This is their web page here, only office. Click on desktop and mobile apps. So here we have it. Download free only office apps for your desktop. Now that's the other thing about only office. It's free and open source as well, just like LibreOffice. You don't have to pay for it as in free and it's open source so that any developer, software developer who knows how to read code, they can read the code. They can see what it's doing to your system, whether or not it's spying on you and so forth. So I'm going to click on, so if you see here on this page, only office desktop editors for windows and Mac OS. So you can use it for windows. You can use it for Mac OS. You can use it for Debian, CentOS OS, and you can use it for Arch because I already installed it and used it. Linux FX, it's fantastic. Linux Mint, Zorin, Deepin. So let's go to uh, my VM. So right now I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the Cinnamon desktop. Now, if you want to get only Office and you're running Linux Mint, you can get it from the Linux Mint repository. It works in Linux Mint for a fact because I downloaded. So I'm not going to show you how to get it because you just go to the software repository, do a search for it, click it on and download it. Easy peasy. But in Arch Linux, it's available only in the Arch user repository, the AUR. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all, I'm going to open up Firefox and I'm going to go to archlinux.org. I'm at the Arch Linux website and I'm going to click on AUR and I'm going to type in only office bin. So I'm going to install only office bin and it's been updated as of March 18th, 2023. So I'm going to click it on. Now, most people, well, I shouldn't say most, many people that use the AUR use an AUR helper like Yay or Paru. And I've used those in the past. I don't use them right now, but I have used them in the past and they are very good applications to use. But when I install a package from the AUR, I just do it manually. I just find it's easier. And I like doing it that way. Now there's nothing wrong with using an AUR helper and especially if you have a lot of AUR programs, it's probably better to use an AUR helper because it's going to notify you when you need to do updates, when updates are available. The thing is, when you do it manually, you won't know if an update is available unless you go onto the Arch Linux website and look for it, or you go into the terminal and you go into that folder and do a git pull. But anyways, let's go install it. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to make a folder called AUR. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to keep all my AUR packages in one folder. So I'm going to type in make dear AUR. And I'm going to capitalize it. You don't have to, but I'm going to do that. So let's, oops. Let's just make sure it's there. There it is. So I'm going to CD into it. Then I'm going to type in git clone. And I'm going to go back to the website and I'm going to copy this link. Copy. Let's insert it. And I'm going to hit enter. So it's cloning it. Now I'm going to CD into it. Now I'm inside of it. I'm going to list the files and I'm just going to do a less package build. 
And I'm just going to quickly look through this file just to make sure there's nothing funny there. So I'm just scanning down using my arrow key and it looks good. So I'm going to push Q to quit and I'm going to install it. So I'm going to do this command make pkg space dash sisec and hit enter and it's asking me for my password so I'm going to put my password in and I'm going to say yes and it's installing it and it's just going to take a moment and now it's asking me if I want to do this I'm going to say yes so it was building the package and now it's installing it and we're almost done and just in case you're wondering I did pause the video for a moment or two and we're done so I'm going to close my terminal and I'm going to close my website and I'm going to go into my menu so I have office here now this is LibreOffice as you can see it's installed but and here's only office so I'm going to open up only office and it's open up that was pretty fast so you have your your document spreadsheet presentation form templates the only thing I use are the first two and I haven't really used only office I've just played with it a little bit and this is going to just be a quick tour of it first I'm going to open up document and this would be the equivalent of Microsoft Word or writer document writer in LibreOffice and this is what it looks like it looks pretty close to Word you have uh, all your things up here that you can do insert layout references collaboration you got some formatting options here you got formatting options here you have uh, you have all your formatting options here it's very much the same as like very similar to Microsoft Word and LibreOffice now let's say you don't like this you don't like all this on the side so you could go to view right panel click it and it's gone now maybe you're gonna say you don't like this side panel here as well so you're gonna click on left panel and it's gone let's say you want to change the theme you're gonna hit file you're gonna go into advanced settings you're gonna scroll down and we have interface theme I'm going to change it to dark I'm going to apply it and now we have a dark theme now I'm going to close that so now I'm going to reopen it again let's go back into it only office and I'm going to open up a spreadsheet and here we are we're in spreadsheets and you have your formatting options here and let's say you think I don't like the dark theme I want a light theme so you're going to go file advanced settings let's change that to light let's apply it and now we're in a light theme you have all your formatting options here you don't like that well let's go to view let's take out the right panel and it's gone and you have formatting options here you don't like this and here you have your spelling ABC spelling and you don't like this you don't like that left panel being there so let's get rid of it there you go so in the spreadsheet you can see let's type in the word T test bless them spell it I misspelled test so here I'm going to go into ABC and it's showing me the correct spelling I'm going to click on change and it adds in the correct spelling so it just fixed it to the correct spelling now I'm going to close this no I don't want to save the changes I'm going to go into document and I'm going to spell test with no capital changes it to test with a capital 
let's go back and now I'm going to type in test wrong T T E S T highlights it red sorry it underlines it red I'm going to click it and it gives me the correct spelling and now it's fixed the LibreOffice spelling is not working in my Arch Linux system in the spreadsheet program or in the document program and I don't know why but the spell check for only office it's working in the spreadsheets it's working in the word documents in Linux Mint in Windows 10 and in my Arch Linux system LibreOffice by default saves your spreadsheets and your word documents in its own particular file format which you can't use or read in Microsoft Office. However, LibreOffice has the option of saving the file in Microsoft Office format so it can be read and used in Microsoft Office within Windows. But you have to choose that option when you're saving it. Now there is also another option in LibreOffice where you can set it so that LibreOffice will always save the file by default in Microsoft Office format so you can use it at work. On the other hand, only Office automatically and always saves your Word documents and your spreadsheets in the Microsoft Office format. So you can always quickly and easily use your documents and your spreadsheets in only office or in Microsoft Office. So that's another thing I really like about only office. That was just a very brief and quick tour of only office, which is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. And the reason why I checked it out in the first place, and I forgot to mention this in my introduction, is that I was using LibreOffice at home and for some reason the spelling wasn't working. I don't know why. Now it was working in my Linux Mint computer, but the computer I have Arch Linux in, it wasn't working. So that's why I started looking at OnlyOffice. I had heard about it in YouTube and heard about a lot of the Linux people talking about it and recommending it. And when I noticed it's shipped with Manjaro as the default office program, I thought I'd try it. So like I said, I've used it, I've played with it in Windows, I've played with it in Linux Mint, and I've played with it in Arch Linux, and it's fantastic. I'm really impressed with only Office, and I think I might use it as my default Office program at home instead of LibreOffice. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mansion.